Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on least common multiple. Here's what you'll learn. How to find the least common multiple, LCM, of two or more whole numbers. First of all, let's define a few key terms. The word multiple. A multiple of a number is the product of that number and a whole number. For example, let's say we want to find multiples of 5. We could start with 5 times 1, which is 5. 5 times 2, which is 10. 5 times 3, which is 15, and so forth. All of these numbers are multiples of 5. If we wanted to find multiples of 11, we could do the same thing. 11 times 1 gives you 11. 11 times 2, 22. 11 times 3, 33, and so forth. All of these numbers are multiples of 11. Let's also define prime number. A prime number is a whole number whose only factors are 1 and itself. Take the number 2, for instance. What numbers can I multiply together to give me a 2? Well, there are only two numbers, 1 and 2. How about the number 11? What can I multiply together to give me the number 11? Well, the only two numbers that will multiply together to give 11 are 1 and 11. So 2 and 11 are a couple of examples of prime numbers. Now, what is the least common multiple, or LCM? It's the smallest number, other than 0, that's a multiple of two or more numbers. Here are a couple of methods for determining the LCM. Method number one. One method for finding the LCM of two or more whole numbers is to make a list of multiples of each number until you find one that's the same for all numbers you are analyzing. Let's say we want to find the least common multiple of 5,000 and 7,500. Let's start writing multiples of 5,000 first, starting with 5,000 and going by increments of 5,000. So 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, and so forth. Now let's find multiples of 7,500, starting with 7,500 and going by increments of 7,500 to 15,000, 22,500, 30,000, and so forth. Now we've written enough numbers to figure out the first number that both lists have in common. Take a look at the lists. What's the first number that both have in common? Did you find the 15,000? If you did, you found the least common multiple of 5,000 and 7,500. Now, this method will surely work to solve for the least common multiple, but there can be a problem with this method. Depending on the numbers you are analyzing, your LCM could be very large, and you could be writing many rows of multiples just to find the smallest one they have in common. For example, the least common multiple of 78 and 110 is 4,290. Can you imagine how long you'd be writing down multiples of 78 and 110? just to get to 4,290? So let's take a look at an easier method. Method 2 is called the step method. Let's use the step method to solve for the least common multiple of 78 and 110. Now the first thing we do is start by writing down the numbers on a piece of paper like this side by side. Then create a step under the numbers like this. Next, we start dividing the numbers by prime numbers. What's the smallest prime number that will divide evenly into either of these two numbers? Well, if you know your prime numbers, you know the smallest prime number is 2, and that will divide evenly into both numbers. So put a 2 to the left of the step. Divide both numbers by 2 and place the result under each number. 78 divided by 2 is 39. 110 divided by 2 is 55. Now add a new step under these new numbers. And ask yourself this question. Can I use 2 again on either of these numbers? In this case, no. So try the next prime number, which is 3. Will 3 divide evenly into either of these numbers? The answer is yes. It divides evenly into 39. 
So we're going to put a 3 to the left of the step and divide 39 by 3, which gives us 13, and place that result under the 39. Now, what do we do with the 55? Since 3 does not divide evenly into 55, we're just going to bring that number down to the next step, too. All right, now create a new step. And ask this question, can we use 3 again on either of these numbers? In this case, the answer again is no, so we're going to try the next smallest prime number, which is 5. Will 5 divide evenly into either of these numbers? Yes, it divides evenly into 55. So put a 5 next to the left of the step. Divide 55 by 5 and place that result under the 55. 55 divided by 5 is 11. Bring the 13 down to the new level as well. And the next thing we do is create a new step. Can you use 5 again on either of these numbers? The answer obviously is no. And notice we only have prime numbers left, 11 and 13. So we know we can use 11 next. So place an 11 to the left of the step. Divide 11 by 11 and bring the answer down to the next step. So 11 divided by 11 is 1. What are we going to do with the 13? Don't forget, we're going to bring that down to the next level as well and create a new step. Now, since 13 is prime, we're going to place a 13 to the left of the step. Divide 13 by 13 and bring that answer down to the next level. 13 divided by 13 is 1. And also bring down the remaining 1. Once you have all 1's along the bottom, you're one step away from solving our problem. Now all the numbers along the left hand side are prime and all you have to do to finish the problem is simply multiply all of those numbers together. So the least common multiple of 78 and 110 is 2 times 3 times 5 times 11 times 13 or 4290. Let's find the least common multiple of three numbers, 22, 44, and 66. We're going to use method number one first, making a list of multiples. So the multiples of 22 are 22, 44, 66, 88. We keep going up by increments of 22 every time, 110, 132, and so forth. Let's list the multiples of 44 starting with 44, 88, 132, 176, 220, and so forth. And then finally, make multiples of 66, starting with 66. 66, then 132, and you know what? We don't have to go any further at this point. What's the first number that both lists have in common? Do you see it? There's 132 in every list. So the least common multiple of 22, 44, and 66 is 132. Now let's do the same problem using method number 2, the step method. Don't forget, start by writing down the numbers side by side. 22, 44, 66. Then create a step under the numbers. And ask yourself, what's the smallest prime number that will divide evenly into any of the numbers? Well, the smallest prime number is 2, and it happens to divide evenly into all three numbers. So put a 2 to the left of the step. Divide all the numbers by 2 and place the result under each number. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 44 divided by 2 is 22. And 66 divided by 2 is, of course, 33. Now add a new step under the new numbers and ask yourself, can I use 2 again on any of these numbers? In this case, the answer is yes. 2 divides evenly into 22. So I'm going to put a 2 to the left of the step and divide the 22 by 2. 
22 divided by 2 gives me an 11. Don't forget, we're going to bring down the rest of the numbers to the new step. So we bring the 11 down, and the 33 comes down as well. Now add a new step under these new numbers. And ask yourself, can I use 2 again on any of these numbers? Well, now all the numbers are odd, so the answer is no. So check the next smallest prime number, which is 3. Will 3 divide evenly into any of the numbers in this step? The answer is yes. So put a 3 to the left of the step. And go ahead and divide 33 by 3. And you get 11. And don't forget, bring down the rest of the numbers. The other two 11s will come down as well. Now we create a new step. There's only one number left, and it's a prime number. So put an 11 to the left of the step. Divide each number by 11. 11 divided by 11, of course, just gives us a 1. So we're going to have a 1 in every result down at the bottom. Now that we have all 1's at the bottom of our steps, we simply multiply the numbers on the left to get our least common multiple. The least common multiple of 22, 44, and 66 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 11, or 132. Congratulations! You've learned how to find the least common multiple of two or more whole numbers.